Welcome back to a new video on my channel. I'm sorry for the delay between the uh, last videos and that one, but I was a bit busy in my job. Um, today I will show you how you can set up this XY CD60 uh, control unit um, uh, for correct voltages and a 12, 24 and 48 voltage system, for example, for lithium iron phosphate batteries. May you remember that this CD60 is the main controller, the heart of the Easterbreeze wind and hydro turbine charge controllers. And may you remember my video where I um, explained how you could change these, this unit to have the opportunity to change the voltage settings of the uh, Instabreeze charge controllers because usually you could not change these voltages but you have to change them by uh, using lithium iron phosphate batteries for example. By the way, I received the information from Instabreeze that they have the opportunity to deliver these charge controllers also with an open unit. That means that you have the chance to um, set the voltages by yourself but you have to request this and they do that not very often and they do not like it to do because um, they uh, they received a lot of questions in the past from customers which are just only uh, pushing the buttons not knowing what they're doing and after that they, they had a lot of trouble and uh, Easter Breeze has to fix that with the service request so that's the reason why they pre-program it and block it. I can understand this, but for lithium iron phosphate batteries, for example, you have to change the voltage settings and to have, you have the opportunity to do that with the modification I described in one of my uh, previous videos. Um, I will put the uh, link to that video in the description below, or you can request an open uh, unit by uh, Easter Breeze itself. In both cases, you have to program it by yourself. And that's the reason why, what we're doing right now. And uh, please keep in mind, these um, XYCD60 controllers is just only a voltage controller and um, Easterbreeze use it to switch the, the release in their charge controller as well. May you have some, some different technology around um, that uh, module in some other charge controllers then you have to set um, the, the voltages maybe a bit different. Anyhow, Today we're discussing about um, the Easterbreeze charge controller and how you can modificate them. And um, for that, of course, we have to um, set these voltages. And we have to set the in and out voltages at this um, charge controller or this, uh, yeah, this um, voltage controller, what it is, in fact. And it's pretty easy. Um, I just connected only two wires um, to a battery just to... to uh, have the opportunity uh, to show you how you can program it and we are on the in mode right now to to uh, change the settings you have to push that button over here for maybe a few seconds and then at the at the up mode um, you uh, could um, program the highest voltage for charging and discharging we are on a 12 volt system so for lithium iron phosphate batteries for example it's maybe 14.8 14.7 volt and um, the lowest that means at this um, the uh, the controller starts to charge again if the battery is below that voltages. Anyhow, we do that here with 14.3, for example. Um, once again, I discuss about the settings for the Easterbreeze charge controller. May uh, if you have it in your solar charge controller or what else is unit, the settings could be different because in and out means you um, usually the voltage for charging and discharging. Anyway. Um, to, to switch between the in and out mode, we have to push that button over here. Oh no, we, we do not want to set this. First, of course, I have to, sorry, first, of course, I have to um, save the settings, which I'm doing now by, by hitting that button for a couple of seconds. And now I have to push that button for approximately five seconds. And after that, we see program number two. And now it's switching to the out mode. Um, by the way, the 12.5 volts is the voltage of the battery I have right now hit, connected to this display. Um, at the out mode, it's the same. We have to push this settings button. And then if you see it flashing, you can change this 14.9, 14.8, for example, and the same for the down 14.3 in that case. And to store that by pushing that button for a few seconds. By the way, you can uh, set up 
even much much higher voltages i will show you just even there's only a 12 volt battery connected of course we could change these voltage settings um, up to 60 volt just only to show you that you see the uh, voltage is reaching higher and higher if you want so for a 24 volt system for example i would set the up on um, probably 28.9 29 volts for lithium iron and phosphate batteries and the down at 28.5 for example and uh, at the 48 voltage system maybe 59 volts for, for the up but it compares a bit on of, of the battery management system of your battery of course um, and, but please make sure if you're playing on, an, on, a, on a voltage system which is um, a 48 voltage uh, system uh, the uh, the charge voltage could be over 50 volts and uh, make sure that you are um, not touching both contacts or the contacts of the battery with your skin or with your hands because uh, uh, over 50 volts um, the the, uh, the voltage of power could break through your skin and it could be very very dangerous for you anyhow um, that is how you set the display um, if you have any questions please uh, let me know write it in the uh, description below um, and the next few days I guess I will upload a new video about uh, that one how you can uh, yeah install an external break at your wind turbine hope you enjoy that if you like the video hit the like button or the subscribe button and see you next time thank you bye